Jeez. You know, it's the middle of the summer as I'm doing this, and I feel like I'm frozen to the bone just walking into Winterhold. I'll take a... <laughs> get the Come snow off in here. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. I think what I want to do is... Uh... Where's his wife? The... My Dramora. Oh, hey! Ranmir beg a drink from you yet? That's gold wasted, friend. Uh... No. Who's Ren here? What's wrong with him? He owes this tavern enough coin to burn it down, build it back up, then burn it down again just for laughs. He's had some troubles in his life, but I can't have him drinking here without at least paying back some of the coin he owes. Ah, I see. If you're having trouble with the patron, I might be able to help. I have a bit of a silver tongue myself. Go right ahead. He just might be sober enough to listen to you. Nothing wrong with trying. But, Ranmir seems to be the only customer in here. Why is this place so empty? You mean the inn, or Winterhold? I suppose it's the same answer either way. Winterhold's fallen on hard times, to say the least. Most folk packed up and left years ago. A few of us are either too stubborn or too crazy to go, so we do our best to make a living. Well, given what you're working with, you do manage to keep a nice place. It's not much, but we get by. Very little money passes through Winterhold anymore. But if there's one thing you can count on, it's folks needing a drink now and then. If ever there was a truism, that is definitely one. But anyways, I'll see what I can do about Ranmere. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. Alright. Ranmere? Unless hey. you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. I'm just trying to have a quiet drink here, all right? Oh, trust me, I know. There's nothing quite like a stiff drink at day's end. But, you know, drinks aren't free. And the tavern needs money to keep moving. That meat is going to dry up if patrons don't pay their tabs. You understand, Ranmir? Who are you to say what I should do? I'll pay her back when I'm ready. Oh, no, don't misunderstand me, Ranmir. I believe you completely. You couldn't convince me otherwise that you're anything but a strong, honorable man who pays his debts. One who won't let anything get between him and paying back the gold he owes. I know you would never let your neighbors down. You're right. What would my forefathers think if they knew I wasn't paying my debts? Tell Har and I'll bring her the gold I owe. Like I said, Ranmir, there's no question. I know you'll pay. But on that note of a drink, here, have one. On me. Got any ale or mead? Do have a little bit of black briar. Primary reserve. Enjoy. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was easy. Is everything right. well, Nelakar? Oh yes, Ooh. quite fine. My accommodations here continue to be just what I need. <laughs> there haven't been hey. any... We may not have as much to offer as White Run or Solitude, but we'll do what we can to make your stay a pleasant no, one. Everything is quite all right. I have no doubt that you'll do everything in your power to make my stay pleasant, but that's not why I'm here. Um, I chatted with Ranmir. I've convinced him to pay his debt. Thank you. He's not a bad man, just bad with his coins and his drink. My but... husband Dagger could tell you stories there. I have a couple of Ranmir's things that he traded to us back when he was still paying regularly. I say you've earned them. Uh, th thanks. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Well, you seem insistent on talking with me. If you're business with the college, you're welcome to stay here. It's where most of our business comes from, in fact. Well, I know plenty about the college. It doesn't surprise me in the least that that's the source of your business. But is there anything else you can tell me about Winterhold? I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Winterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. She doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. Though even that's dried up some. Well, even whenever sales dry up, there's usually something to be done. You don't need a hand with anything, do you? Well, not exactly. Listen, we're friends, right? I wonder if I could ask a favor of you. Uh, well, I don't do just any job. Depends on what you want. It's about Ranmir. Don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with him being here all the time. He mostly keeps to himself, and so far he's been able to pay. I just hate to see what's happened to him. 
He hasn't always been like this, you know. Drunk, I mean. A lot of things in life that can cause a man to fall into a tankard of mead. What was he like before... Well... Before what he is now. Well, he was a different person. Happy. Outgoing. Like... Anyone who's in love. Love? What happened? See, Ranmere was involved with a pretty young woman named Isabel Rolaine. The two of them were very happy together, I thought. One day, she just disappeared. Ranmere was convinced she'd run off with someone else, leaving him behind. He turned to drinking. And what's left of him is what you see here every day. <sighs> That's unquestionably a sad story, Dagger, but... You're not expecting me to do something about the fact that he lost the love of his life, are you? I'm not sure. I hope that maybe if she could be found, if he had some sort of explanation, that maybe he could put himself back together. I'm in no position to go searching for her, but perhaps you could. Well... I'll give it a shot. I think I'm gonna go talk with your wife. She seems to know a fair amount about him as well. All right, then. Now here's a man I'm glad to see. It's good to see you too, Heron. Listen. I'm looking for Isabel Rolaine. I know that I shouldn't be putting my nose where it doesn't belong, but... Oh, no. Dagger's been talking at you, hasn't he? Gotten you roped into his little plan to fix Ranmere's life. I'll tell you what I told him. Stay out of it. It's none of your business. Those aren't folks you want to get tangled up with. Tangled up with? What are you talking about? What do you know? Enough to know that it's not worth it. Renmere's a good boy, and he doesn't deserve what fate pushed his way. But there's only so far I'll go to risk my neck. One night, Renmere was in here like always drinking himself to death. When I told him there was no more haunting brew, that he drank all of it, he got angry. He ranted at me. How I didn't know what he's been through. How Isabel broke his heart when she ran off with some thief named Vex. He said he'd even gone to Riften to try and find the bastard. I think maybe he was hoping they'd just kill him, and that'd be the end of it. Dagger never heard any of this, and I chose to keep it to myself. I'm only telling you so you don't get into trouble. Riften and thieves means trouble. Just leave it alone. I I'm glad that you're concerned for my well-being, Heron, but trust me whenever I say I can take care of myself. I've traveled far and wide. I've dealt with a lot of problems and a lot of people. I'm only trying to do what's right. Is there anything else you can tell me about Isabel? No, there isn't, and I suggest you leave it at that. I don't want to see anyone get hurt over this. Again, I can take care of myself, but I'm sorry to have bothered you with it. I'll just be on my way now. See ya. Oh well, Vex of the Thieves Guild. Looks like I have another interesting topic to discuss with her when I finally return to Riften. But before that, I still have business with the college. Need to talk with Arniel. What the Here we go. Hey, wake up! Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. No. Oh. Thank you very much, Arniel. Listen, I'm sorry to bother you in the middle of the night, but, um... I just got back from an expedition, and I'll be leaving again soon. But before I go, I wanted to check in with you. How's that project that you've been working on coming along? Terrible, just terrible. I vastly underestimated the heat transfer necessary and have destroyed my only working model. I'm at a loss. Uh, did you account for the extra coefficient introduced by the Magica Overload? Don't patronize me. Look, it's all very simple. The Dwemer, they were, uh, masters of magic in a way we can't even begin to conceive of. Their greatest achievement, however, has also been their greatest, shall we say, mystery. The dwarves? What are you talking about, Arniel? The, the Dwemer disappeared so thoroughly and completely so long ago that anything involving them is a complete mystery no matter what. Precisely. What could be worth studying about a long-lost civilization? Their disappearance, of course. Instant. Unexplainable. The stories have fascinated me. Ever since I was young, I wanted to know what really happened. After years and years of work, I'm closing in on a way to investigate what happened through experimentation. Only now, 
Well, it's simply a disaster. Well, don't hold back. What went wrong? Without boring you with the, uh, details, I'm attempting to recreate the circumstances of the event. The dwarves were very clever, tapping into and drawing power from the heart of Lorcan itself. Lacking the heart of a dead god myself, I was attempting to substitute a rather specific soul gem. The, uh, one you helped me acquire. Okay, wait a minute. Arniel, you're telling me that you're trying to use that warped soul gem that I got for you as a substitute for the heart of Lorcan. Oh my... Ill-advised is, uh, putting it mild what you're trying to do here, but what exactly won't work? Well, yes, I mean, no! That is, it might, but I'm not completely sure. I'm no tonal architect. I've only read their writings. Scraps, really. The soul gem by itself isn't enough, you see. It needs to be altered, purified. The dwarves had machines for this sort of thing. I've attempted to build my own, based on designs and using parts you helped to provide. My very own dwarven convector. It worked, but not fully. And the, uh, the device was destroyed in the process. So all of those Dwemer cogs I brought you were for building... a convector and... Uh, don't tell me you need me to bring you more Dwarven components to build another one. Hmm? No, no, no! I'm too close now. Can't take the time. Though, perhaps there's another option. I, um... I may require further assistance from you. Okay, but you will pay me for it, right? Well, I... Don't you see? Unlocking this mystery. The story alone is worth more riches than you can even imagine. And perhaps... Well, I don't wish to speculate, but... What if we could contact the dwarves? What if they're still out there? Imagine. You're getting ahead of yourself, Arniel, but just for the sake of argument, what exactly is it you need? Well, yes. The designs for my convector were based on real dwarven machines, so there may still be some in existence. I'd go looking myself, but... Uh, yes, there are calculations to double and triple check. Uh, many calculations. Perhaps you could seek out these convectors in Skyrim ruins. I can even teach you the spell to heat them. It's very particular and very important. Mm. As ill-advised as all of this is, Arniel, I'm going to humor you. Teach me the spell, I'll see what I can do, but I don't make any promises. Wonderful, just wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Now, this spell is not for defending yourself, but it's just right for heating the convector. At least three seconds burn is necessary. Just place the soul gem inside and heat the convector, at least three seconds. You'll almost certainly need to find multiple convectors. I suspect it may be due to the nature of the soul gem versus the crystals this was intended for. Destroys the equipment in the process. But, ah, it's effective. Three times, and the crystal should be ready for the next step. Isn't this exciting? All right, then. Exciting indeed, Arniel. Oh, what a task you set upon me. What was it that Niriana said to him? I'm amazed you haven't managed to blow yourself up yet. Starting to understand that statement. Okay, I'm finally back. Arniel, where is where is that idiot? The, I've I've ran all over Skyrim trying to find his Oh, here we go. Arniel, hey. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Perhaps we can go another few decades without a disaster. That would be nice. Indeed it would be, Arniel. I hope you take your own advice. And on that same note, I found the convectors, I heated your gem. It should be well within the tolerance of what you require. Here. What do you think? It worked, then. Let me see. Goodness, that's it, isn't it? Yes. It's not perfect, but it's a close enough approximation that it should certainly suffice for initial tests. You've done excellent work here. Truly excellent. There's only one thing missing now, and that should be arriving shortly. I'll begin preparations. Thank you again so much for this. Until next time.
Oh, yeah, sure. Just toss me out. All right, let's go find, uh, Urag. I'm not one for commendations, but I might have lost everything that matters, so thanks. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. No worry, Urag. I have no plan on changing those rules. But I'm going to skip pleasantries and get straight to the point. I'm here looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand boy? Based on that tone, I imagine that you get such ridiculous questions often. Let's assume I don't know enough. What can you tell me about the Elder Scrolls? I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. I eyesight as a price? What for? The simplest way to put it is knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. It's a reflection of all possible futures and all possible pasts. Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses, and may come away with a different reading. But at the same time, all of it is true. Even the falsehoods. Especially the falsehoods. So... Then... Who wrote the Elder Scrolls? It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. The scrolls exist here, with us but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Seems to fall in line with everything I've heard thus far. Bits of creation made substance. I'm also going to go out on a limb and imagine that you don't have one here. Ha! Ah, you think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. I don't question why you would want to keep such a thing safe, Urag. But the fact of the matter is that I'm searching for an Elder Scroll, and you seem the most likely person to help me find one. I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Any help is still help. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, <clears throat> at least I'm making progress, right? He certainly does protect his books well. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Yeah, yeah don't worry about it. Effects of the Elder Scrolls It is widely known among scholars that the Elder Scrolls entail a certain hazard in their very reading. The mechanism of the effects has, at present, been largely unknown. Theories of hidden knowledge and divine retribution were the subject of idle speculation with little investigation. I, Justinus Polinius, have undertaken to thoroughly document the ailments afflicted by the Elder Scrolls on their readers, though a unified theory of how they manifest continues to elude me and remains a subject for future study. Okay, this looks to be more about what the scrolls do to the people who read them, not so much where to find one. Dictated to Anastas Mectum, fourth of last seed in the 126th year of the Second Era. My word, this is an old text. I'll take the time to read through this thoroughly later. Let's check the next one. Ruminations on the Elder Scrolls by Septimus Cygnus, College of Winterhold. Oh, this is promising. Imagine living beneath the waves with a strong-sided blessing of most excellent fabric. Holding the fabric over your gills, you would begin to breathe, drink its wrap, and weft. Though the plant matter fibers imbue your soul, the wretched plankton would pollute the cloth until it stank to heavens of prophecy. This is one manner in which the scrolls first came to pass. But are we the sea, or the breather, or the fabric? What the... 
What is this book? What else do we have? The acorn is a kind of tree egg in this instance, and the knowledge is water and sun. Oh boy. Uh, this doesn't seem to make much sense at all. Okay, I need some help. Um, hey, Orag. Hey, Orag. Um, Urag, what is this ruminations on the Elder Scrolls? It's incomprehensible, makes no sense. Like it was written by a madman. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls. But, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. What does that mean? He's dead, or...? Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. Became obsessed with the Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. Oh, well, that was it? Well, <laughs> helpful, not helpful. At least I have some sort of a heading. The ice fields, I guess that means somewhere in the Sea of Ghosts? It'll be a fun time getting out there without suffering hypothermia. Of course, then again, I still have stuff to do out in uh, Riften. I do need to go talk with Maven. And I have things to return... Uh, I need to sell things off to Delvin. Not to mention talk to Vex. I don't know where I'm headed next. Still plenty to do, though.